backwards from inside the house across the development site and then down the mews in an easterly direction I think I've got east and west wrong before towards the National Trust so there's the pond there are the two yew trees which are now over five meters high I think there's a magnolia on the left that might be three meters high um, there's our patch of grass this is the development site with a shack on it the noise are magpies which are very common here but there are also green parakeets if I see one I'll try and take a picture of it it's kind of odd to have green parakeets in your garden in London what well, seems odd to me apparently isn't odd at all they there are quite a lot of green parakeets living in gardens in London in flocks so this is the muse there's a school on the right after a big retaining wall a drop of about two meters and we're approaching the National Trust site called Sutton House um, oh there's a, a sort of garden uh, development or I don't know seedlings and here's a, a neighbor who's a friend of the well he's a director of Friends of the Earth I think and he's got two shacks and he also keeps chickens and uh, here's the National Trust site with children playing on it so I'm not going to sort of stick my nose in there um, but that's the access from the Mews to the National Trust site and obviously the National Trust would have to close it to children if it was used for taking spoil out possibly it could be done early in the mornings and the site reopened so now I'm going back up the Mews another shack and we're back again at the number 8 development site and I'll stop